Hi, I'm Matt. Hey there, I'm Bianca. And in this video, we're reviewing the first annual adult summer camp on Virgin Voyages. So keep watching, we're the Traveling Swingers. Wow, what an amazing oh. trip this has been. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so if you don't know who we are, well, we're Matt and Bianca. We've been doing this. Uh, we've been doing lifestyle swinger stuff for 20 some or 20 some years. <laughs> don't it we wish. Seems <laughs> like forever. Uh, uh, 12 years or so. Right. And and this is the first time that we've actually hosted a group on Virgin Voyages. Right. Uh, we basically took a group of swingers. There were 53 of us in total mm -hmm. uh, for this first event. And we basically just said, hey, come with us as a group. And we are just going to hang out together yeah. if you want to hang out with us. Yeah. And uh, we'll just kind of do this group thing. Mm -hmm. And it has turned into the Probably the greatest trip we've ever been on. It's been amazing, and that's not that's not just saying that. No. Like we we we've done a lot of trips. We've we've gone on group trips to France. We've gone on group trips to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. We've done all the different things, and. Virgin Voyages just happens to be like the cruise line that is ideal for people who are just kind of open. open. Well, yeah, wh whatever that means, right, whatever that right, means. Right. So, so if you're looking at this going, well, I'm not a swinger. Ew. Uh, well, or ooh, <laughs> no. but maybe not. <laughs> just, I'm not saying you're ooh because you're not a swinger. I'm saying some people are like, ew, swingers. Well, that's worse. That's worse. But yeah. <laughs> so basically, it just kind of boils down to anyone who is who has had those conversations or is having those conversations to their significant other mm -hmm. about opening up their relationship, whatever that means, whether you're looking for someone, you're looking for a woman, a bisexual woman to join you in bed for the evening, or you're actually looking for another relationship with someone or one or two people to join you and create yeah. a larger family unit. Yeah. Uh, there's just so much to it. Or if you're just looking for another couple and you just want to fuck for a night, that's mm -hmm. fine too. Yeah. That's yeah. fine too. And so we put this event together as just kind of like, Virgin Voyages is an adult cruise line. Right. They no don't kids. they don't allow kids on board. There's just a, a sex, sexy atmosphere. A sexy vibe yeah, that yeah. happens throughout the ship. Oh, let me just stop you there. Even in the rooms, they have a um, um, little mode that you can push on your little touchpad thing that will, it's called Get It On, and it changes the lighting, the mood lighting, and plays some sexy music. Turns everything to red, and it's Get like, it got some Marvin Gaye starting, and it's <laughs> yeah. just like, this is kind of hilarious. So awesome. Yeah, yeah, and and there's just a, like a lot of things like mm -hmm. that, and it's kind of across the board, whether it's the the shows that we might have gone to that they kind of have a lot of innuendo to, to, for example, like even the ice cream shop is called lick me till I scream and so there's just there's you just, know that one place well I do I do I've, I've, I've actually had ice cream. way too much ice cream because it's included in the price yeah. so so we just kind of wanted to do a review of just what we've done on this trip yeah. and kind of give you an idea in case you wanted to join us for one of the next ones because we're going to be doing more of these yeah. and at the end of this video we will announce those those dates of those that's so that right. you can actually see if that's something that you want to do mm -hmm. all right so we got off the plane we live yeah. in Seattle and uh, we have a partner uh, that that works with us that does all the logistics and mm -hmm. things all right so we got off the plane mm -hmm. and she picked everybody up at the uh baggage carousel mm -hmm. she had a little tablet with your name on it so you'd know how to find her if you didn't know her uh helped you get out to the outside and then um had a car waiting for you so the car would take you to the uh hotel that we had scheduled mm -hmm. and um you could do this or not it was up to you but it was nice to not have to think about anything that like we planned a lot of the logistical things so that you didn't have to right and so a lot of us actually came in a day or two before the cruise because you never know if the airline's gonna have a problem or if your bag's gonna get lost in the air yeah. airplane that type of thing so always recommend if you're going on a cruise come in day or two beforehand which was nice because we got to actually meet up with a lot of people who did come in early and we all got there around dinner time and got to have some uh, we had some fun drinks at a tiki bar together mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then the next day uh those of us that were there or there were still more people coming in that afternoon we went to a drag brunch and had so much fun yeah, yeah. had some time to relax by the pool or the beach if you wanted to and then that evening we had a big meet meet and greet at the hotel so that anybody who was not staying at the hotel could come join us and get to meet everybody that 
you've been kind of talking to or hearing about. Mm -hmm. And we have like a, a Telegram group. That's an app uh, that people can talk months in advance mm -hmm. so that they can actually connect with each other if they want to do that way. That way, And just to see if, you know, they, they just to introduce themselves and say, hey, this is who we are. This is what we've been doing. This is how long we've been doing this thing in the lifestyle or we haven't been doing this and we're brand new to it and 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 everybody just can kind of see who they are and who the who the whole group is and connect that way so we had that meet and greet that night and it was it was amazing to actually just kind of hang out with people and see just what a great group yeah. that we had the group of us got really hungry after all the drinks and went and had tacos too we had late <laughs> night tacos <laughs> right that was right. fun <laughs> yeah yeah and, it, and it's and it's just nice because if, if, if you've seen us online i mean we've been doing these videos for years and years and years and like people seemed very excited that we were just kind of hanging out with them and it's yeah. just like yeah we're just we're just we're just regular people <laughs> that love to go on cruises yeah. so we want to uh, you know we want them to join us uh and hang out with us and and so uh the next morning of course that was the cruise day and uh so we actually had a van for our group mm -hmm. or two vans for our group mm -hmm. uh that that picked us up at the hotel and uh, brought us right to the ship so we can all board at the same time uh to make it easy and we can just kind of lead everybody in yeah. and they really like the fact that they didn't have to do anything at all they literally just bought the tickets pushed the button to buy and then everything was taken care of for them from from getting off the plane to to basically getting if back you on wanted the plane. To. You if you want to have to do this part of it if you didn't if you some people lived locally so they just showed up to the port they mm -hmm. drove and just parked at the port so you know it's available if you want it but you don't have to right right so we all get on the boat and then what happens and then from there we were able to we got actually on the ship in like a half hour it was so fast easy painless getting on the ship yeah since uh, covid that's changed actually quite a bit it, it used to be years ago we'd get in line for a cruise and it'd be two three hours really of dealing time, with counter number one and counter number two and then going over and handing your passport so much of that has been done online with the virgin voyages mm -hmm. app that it's actually been very nice that we were able to really just yeah. kind of walk on right uh yeah, that's and really nice. yeah yeah and so we were able to get our drinks in hand as yes, fast as we as possibly fast could as possible yeah <laughs> got drinks in hand uh we had a little um meet up that you could join if you wanted to where we would just give everybody kind of a tour of the ship just a quick tour just kind of acclimate yourself on where all the bars are and the ice cream shop is and the <laughs> important things um and then we hosted a meet and greet that night so that you could some people um didn't make it in until actually right on like like just got right on board uh, right before we left. So it was a nice opportunity to get to meet everybody. So we had a meet and greet right um, like five o'clock before we had dinner. Right. So we had this meet together. Right. So we had this meet and greet and it was basically just a really, really good way to actually put a name and you saw the names in the faces early on, but you actually get to meet them in person mm -hmm. and shake their hand, give them a hug, all that kind of stuff. And just see who we're going to be hanging out with yeah. if you'd like to hang out with us. And, and it ended up being a really, really good way for our big group to finally meet each other in person because yeah. there were some people at the, the one the night before at the hotel but this was actually the way to say okay we're all on the boat together if you didn't get on celebrate. the boat by now then uh, <laughs> then you're missing it yeah. and and that's a good way to celebrate and have a drink with, with new friends mm -hmm. and then we all went to dinner and what was our dinner the first night we went to pink agave the uh mexican restaurant mm -hmm. and yeah. what did you think oh i love it i love mexican food the corn salad was amazing <laughs> Yeah, it was so good. I could have just eaten that. And the guac, oh my gosh. I think I loved the appetizers way more than the food. Now, I was trying to be good. I ordered the vegetarian meal and I didn't love it. I ended up eating um, someone else's steak, half of their steak. <laughs> Yeah, because they couldn't eat the whole thing because it was a large piece of steak. So they were like, they gave me a bite. And I was like, well, this is good. And they were like, do you want the rest? <laughs> so mm -hmm. I, I didn't do the healthy thing. I ate a steak instead. <laughs> Sounds about right. Sounds but about I right. enjoyed it. Sure. I enjoyed the meal. Sure. Well, what do you think of the food in here in general? Um, you know, I don't have, don't have a lot of complaints. I mean, you can get higher end, nice, fancy things, or mm -hmm. you can get a greasy burger, um, which I think is great. The pizza parlor is open till 2 a.m. And I've been there a couple of times. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's great to sop up some of that alcohol after a while um and so i, I think we only went to the pizza parlor at like two o'clock in the morning or like yeah. 1 30 in the morning so I when all there. pizza is good yeah yeah exactly <laughs> um and then we've also been to the uh the galley several times at two o'clock in the morning or later for We're, fries and burgers <laughs> right and if you're not familiar with the galley the galley is probably the closest thing that you would get to the to the concept of what used to be b buffets or what are buffets on other cruise lines mm -hmm. but it's not a buffet the closest thing and it's such the wrong word to use 
is a food court, yeah. but not a food court like you think of at the mall. More along the lines of you go into this big room and there's uh, a noodle area over here and there's a burger area over there Taco and sandwiches bar. and sushi and all of Taco those bar. things. Yeah. And you could either just go up to the counter and order what you want or they actually prefer if you just kind of sit at your table and they have the app that you just kind of put the QR code in and look at the menu and they'll come right over and ask what you'd like and yeah. they'll bring it to your table. And it's more like a restaurant that you can just order from a whole bunch of different places. Mm -hmm. So that is the galley is wonderful for either just, you know, lunches, it's great kind or a quicker meal. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, after Pink Agave, then we, 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 we hung around with our friends. We went drinking, yeah, we wandered we the ship. Bar. Yeah. And there's, you know, there's dancing. Oh, we went and saw the most amazing dance party. It's called, that's right. What's it called? It's called it's party thing. It's yeah. something untitled dance party thingy. Yeah. Some, something, some, like something, that. something ridiculous <laughs> like that. And it's because there's no way to describe this no. event. And it's, it's so complicated that they couldn't even think of a name for it. So it's yeah. called but that it, literally. That was super fun. Yeah. And that's just kind of this, you're, you're at a dance party and they've got, you know, uh, music playing. And then they've got a big performance with, with half a dozen cast members where they're all doing all the dancing and all that kind of stuff. And then suddenly the stage like turns like literally where everybody's surrounding the stage. And then they're like, okay, now you're part of the show. And then suddenly the music changes and everybody starts dancing and they've got choreographed stuff. And then the music, changes to like the hokey pokey mm -hmm. and uh some other just kind of yeah just some weird ass songs interactive, a lot of fun. and and it's it's a blast yeah. it's a blast and that is just kind of the best way to welcome you on the ship of going oh my gosh this is unlike any event i've ever been on ever before before there just are no other cruise lines like virgin voyages well that was also the pj party night too. Yep. Mm -hmm. so we all got to go we uh, we all went to that event in our pajamas which is mm -hmm. super fun and then after that we went up to the um pool deck and or the athletic club and and danced right right which for, which for is hours, a bar which is so much fun yeah yeah, yeah. and outside nice cool breeze and the the pajama party is one of those things where it's like you figure out what pajamas means mm -hmm. to you. Yeah. Some people were wearing gym clothes as, or sweatpants. Other people were wearing, you were lingerie. wearing sexy lingerie yeah. and that was perfectly acceptable and everything in between, everything in between. I had this ridiculous per pineapple onesie <laughs> and uh, it's amazing. And I got some high fives on that thing. So, <laughs> so that was, that was fantastic. That's right. And then on day two, that's when we were actually uh, wandering around the ship. It was a, a day at sea. Mm -hmm. And so what was what was my favorite part of uh, the day at sea? That was something that you were hosting. Oh, the topless. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So they have a topless area called the perch mm -hmm. where you can be topless. And so, yeah, I uh, met a bunch of people up there for it was was uh, fun. Yeah. <laughs> I had people offering to put lotion on me. And <laughs> that's right. <laughs> kind of a few of us just sat up there and had some cocktails and uh -huh. nice conversation. There was a great breeze that day, too. It is interesting how many people do offer to rub oil on you yeah. uh, when you are topless. That is <laughs> that is crazy. That is yeah, that, what, yeah, are, what are the odds of that? Right. Yeah. Hmm. So. So, yeah. So. It was it was it was fun to do that I because tried to come up with things to do during the day that would be group like so that you know if you were wandering around and didn't know what to do you could hang out with people at the group mm -hmm. or you know if you wanted some solitude and wanted to hang out at the pool you could do that as well so just kind of having a variety there were people that were playing poker and you know you just kind of you do you or you can hang out with us like kind of whatever we just try to give you a variety of of options sure sure and so there are a lot of shows uh, with a lot of dinners a lot of amazing things I mean we really really had a just such a great time mm -hmm. but I, I yeah and we could go into all the individual specific things that we did and and that's you know that's uh, people are interested in that but it's it's so fascinating trips like this because and this is like the hardest thing for us to describe and you'll see from like if you hear about this from people who are giving reviews on this event so many people were like oh my god this was the greatest trip uh -huh. i've ever been on like and and, and that's not just blowing smoke no. it's 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 one of those things where it's like if you go on a trip with lifestyle people anyone will tell you if you've ever met anybody who's a swinger whether you do anything or not you'll find that they're like the nicest most outgoing people you'll ever meet we have we have uh, a couple of people in our group that aren't lifestyle at all they were just like i love how outgoing you guys are in this video i just kind of want to hang out with you guys for a week and we're like okay join us <laughs> like you're not pressured to do anything there's no you know none of, none of that kind of stuff because swingers just aren't like that it's no. like if we can make a connection and we want to go 
back to a room or something and do something great but it's not even about that like that is that is very secondary it's more along the lines of i want to be your friend and i want you to be my friend and i want to be able to have a conversation with you where we can just be open where we can just talk oh my uh you know there's was, was some random couple that came up to us and they were just like hey we we just opened up our relationship they know who we are they saw one of our videos online and they were just kind of like we want to open up our relationship you know how do we do that what do we do uh we were thinking about having a threesome with this woman that we met last night etc cetera, etc cetera. and it's like those types of things can happen and you can actually have those open conversations with people like us and so oh well, yeah go ahead i was gonna say one of the things i love about these trips in particular is if you're someone who gets overwhelmed very easily and and going out the idea of going on a lifestyle cruise where the whole thing is a takeover might feel a little overwhelming just because you feel nervous about having you know six thousand swingers right on top of you <laughs> this is kind of a nice step in that direction to see maybe if you would like to do something larger or maybe you're someone who knows that you'll never want to go on one of the larger lifestyle cruises this is a good opportunity to kind of baby step your way into it or just if you get overwhelmed and you don't think you'll ever want to do that this is a great way to just be with a smaller group and you know there was never any pressure to play it was just all really just kind of like with let's just all be best friends because we're all amazing yeah <laughs> and 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 even if you're coming onto a cruise to be a uh, husband and wife second honeymoon whatever that type of stuff you just you know you want to have the romantic times and all that you can do all of that oh, yeah. because there's enough hours in the day but there's also this time where it's like if you want to be a social butterfly and make friends and hang out with people we like we practically took over this one section of a bar with our group that we were just kind of, we would just kind of meet there yeah. often and that's kind of where people were hanging out if they felt like it if they were just looking looking for someone to just talk to that they could just just there's someone in our group there pretty much all the time and 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 because of that we we call this event the adult summer camp and and we were talking this morning it's like that is like the perfect name for it because it felt like how you felt being this is the last day before we, we, we get off the boat and you remember when you went to summer camp and it was like the last day and you're like oh my friends are leaving yeah. and oh my god this is like the best time ever and you just want to give everybody a hug and like like we made friends on this trip that like I feel are lifelong friends yeah, absolutely. And, and and that's wild considering we've only been here five nights and we mm -hmm. you know wouldn't necessarily do anything with them more than hug them and talk to them and you know be be close and we we went to they have a big event here uh, last night called the Scarlet Night which is the big event on the on the ship and they have this one point where there's a performance on the pool by the employees or by the dance troupe and they're dancing in the water and that type of stuff and then at one point they say hey you know what everybody join us if they want to and people just jump in the pool and we jump in there i had a suit on you had a elegant gown on and we just jumped in the water and we had the time of our life yeah. and then friends of ours that we've met on this that came with our group also joined us and we're hugging and dancing and having the time of our lives that is hard to describe after like college yeah. like you don't have those times mm, okay. but but at an event like this you can you can make that and we made that and that is like the best feeling in the world and it's so hard to describe but like the the joy that you're you're seeing probably coming from us right now is absolutely true it was like this was amazing and anyone we talked to like that came with our group was like oh my gosh this was so great mm -hmm. and and so so you know if you want to go with us on one of these trips you know it's not just about uh, all of this it's also of course you know you get deals so like uh, there's and there's a lot of things that we do like for example the event that happened before the uh, before we even got on the boat we had this meet and greet and then of course on board we have meet and greets every single day well, that's one of the things that we've gotten a lot of people as saying that they really appreciate it is that we do a meet and greet every day at five o'clock not that it's necessarily a meet and greet you've already met everybody pretty much but an opportunity to go have cocktails maybe meet someone you haven't had a chance to talk to yet but you know it's nice to get dressed up and then or not you know but get dressed and then go have a conversation or two with some people before dinner just because we are a social atmosphere a social group yeah so go have some cocktails with some some new friends make some new friends and then we also schedule dinners every night so you didn't have to worry about what you know planning dinner or anything you just follow the group that's right <laughs> it's kind of nice that we took all that guesswork out we planned all the shows and and all that stuff you just don't even have to worry about because we we do all that for you yeah yeah and that we love doing it and too it's nice too like i said because then you're not feeling like oh i'm going to dinner by myself i don't know if i'll see anybody i wonder what everybody else is doing you've got the opportunity if you want to join the group and hang out with all of us or you can have a nice romantic dinner to yourself and meet up with us for the show 
Sure, sure. And we also, for example, we hosted a room crawl. It was, yeah. you know, it's private to our group. We, we actually met other lifestyle people on the ship that, you know, came up and recognized us and talked to us and that type of thing. And we couldn't, you know, that they weren't part of our group per se. So they, they get, to, they unfortunately missed a lot of the stuff that if they would have just booked with us, they would have been able to, like we had a room crawl that we basically just, you know, we opened up, you know, a few of the group had suites of differing levels and they were like, just come and we'll just, you know, come to our place and we'll you know, have a drink and then we'll go the next one and we saw some amazing suites that not everybody gets to see yeah. um because the, you know they're those are less common on the ship and and it was just just a lot of things like mm -hmm. that we were doing that every single day we were doing something yeah. like that and, and it really made for an amazing time so we are actually going to be doing another one of these or another mm -hmm. few of these because this one was an absolute hit uh, you know sure. we it was a grand slam and so we are doing another one of these, uh, March 2024, and we'll be doing, of course, every spring. And that one is going to be called our Spring Fling. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, we are going to be doing this exact same trip next year because so many people that came on this one are like, I want to come in August every single year forever. And that one is going to be on the same thing. It's going to be on the Scarlet Lady, which is the ship we're on now. There's going to be links below for those events. And we're just about to announce that we're going to be doing our first European Virgin Voyage cruise. So what do you think? Do you think you're going to want to join us on one of these trips? <laughs> Would you join us on one of these trips? I want to hear from you. What sounds like the most amazing cruise ever? That's right. So if you think that you might have interest in coming on something like this, just comment below. Yes. Or I'm in, or yeah. uh, let's get naked or I don't know, whatever, you, whatever you want to do. Um, just, just put something in the, in the comments below, just so that we, that we see that people are excited about this. And then of course, click any of the links in the description below and they'll take you right to all the information. The most amazing thing about these trips is the price for a lifestyle event starts at like sixteen hundred dollars for a couple which is which is way lower than any other you know the big lifestyle takeovers or anything like that it is amazing deal so uh definitely take a look at the links below uh see which one you want to join us at and and then please do we, yeah. we would really really love to meet you we'd love to host you and your friends and you know, invite your friends uh to come with and we're just gonna have just the, so much fun. the best time so ever fun. all right <laughs> well, is there anything else you want to say i think we covered pretty much everything all right well thank you so much for, <laughs> watching. for watching we'll see you next time Bye. -bye.